Hello, everybody. Welcome back. So let's play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaisreich as the Legislative Cities. Let us continue on free last off. So, okay, we don't really care what happens in Italy, at least not quite yet. So we're trying to buy out China Power and Light. It's going to make us incredibly poor. Uh, more Japanese support. That is a okay. Again, I kind of want to side with the Japanese because I, again, I've never have done any kind of Chinese or not Chinese, any kind of Japanese playthrough in Kaiserreich yet. One day we will actually play as them, but today is not that day. I just don't know when exactly that would be. So we're gonna buy out China Power and Light. We're gonna improve land infrastructure, and then we're gonna go for the Japanese loan. String of Pearls, Grand Shanghai Plan. I mean, it's one or the other. Which one is actually good for... Bypassed AOG? What do you do? Speculates in a neutral zone. Shanghai Huan. I mean, you're a lot of, like, military factories. Our cities are too spread out to be connected and only to fall in the conf uh, event of conflict. We should try to make Shanghai the focus of industrial development. Okay. Well, you are trying to make every city a little bit okay. I think we do want to just go with making Shanghai as good as possible. Spreading out our factories probably is just the wrong thing to do. That's at least my guess here. Uh, we do also need standardized... Apparently, actually, you need to get the loan. In order to even do these. Okay. So, you are... Loan from Russia. So, expanding shipping... So, we need, like, a lot of things. So we need at least to get this loan, this loan, and... Standardized rates. Because I do still want the loan from the Japanese bank, just to get Japanese influence... A little bit higher. Russia and the Soviets are at war with each other. So we're going to go for a gateway to the east. It's going to take a while. Probably the new status quo. I'm assuming gets unlocked once the American Civil War has begun. Because right now we're pretty dominated, dominated by the American faction. And once the American faction, more or less, I think doesn't matter. Change of party popularity. Negative 5%. Gets a vent. Legislative Council refuses a vote on famine relief. Do I want to do that? I'm not too sure. We have 30 political power. Or we can start an investigation on Du Yusheng's uh, activities. Social liberal support goes down. Yes. Let's start investigating that dude. A portrait of the gangster Du Yusheng. As we proceed our investigation into Du uh, Yusheng, we first hear we have to first understand uh, his history. Our files tell us the following: Du Yusheng was born in a poor Chinese village and was now the neutral zone in 1888. At the age of just four, his mother had died in childbirth. Uh, his father was dead, and his sister sold into slavery. Pretty rough childhood. Uh, he returned to his village to live with his grandmother, returning to Shanghai at the age of 14. He worked at a fruit stall until he was fired for theft. Whereupon, his job as a bouncer at a brothel brought him into contact with the Green Gang. From there, he was introduced to Huang uh, Yingro, and had the highest ranked Chinese detective in the former French, now German, concession of Shanghai. Yingro's wife saw potential in the boy and had him assist in a number one, a number of large opium deals, gradually expanding his uh, remit and network of contacts as well as his wealth. In 1924, when uh, Liu uh, Yangsheng, then in control of most of Shanghai, had Huang Yingro, I know I'm butchering like every name here. Uh, locked up for publicly beating his son due in front of himself, filing, filing his shoes, and in control of most of the German concessions, criminal enterprises. While well, Jingro was released thanks in part to the Green Gang's close relationship with the Zhaijiang warlord Du, would forever be more than more prominent in the Shanghai gangster. Du, closely known as Big Ears Du for obvious reasons, uh, has been outgoing and gregarious personality, generous to his friends, but ruthless to foes. The leader of several legitimate businesses, a few of which aren't fronts for illegal dealings, who is also the head of the Association of Chinese Taxpayers, uh, sits on the board of Shanghai Chamber of Commerce, and is a sponsor to at least one major temple in Shanghai. So he's an important person. And we're going to start investigating. We can invest it once we have more than two. 
just keep on lowering Chinese influence in Shanghai. Um, brew machine tools. I don't think I want to spend one hundred percent bonus quite yet. We can we can save. We can hold on to that. Um, radio. I don't think it's gonna be super important. Artillery. Like you have artillery in you, right? Yes. So getting artillery upgrades is not the worst thing in the world. Let's go for artillery upgrade here. In fact, I'm actually going to edit you to be a little bit larger. That should be good. Reinforcement things should be top priority. At least make them, you know, 20 stacks. 18 can get a little bit messy. Um, Do I want to write aid? Well, the answer is I cannot get aid, and I don't have enough political power to actually grant you that uh, in time. So sorry. You're just going to kind of starve for now. Chinese influence is no longer growing, which is good for us. 320 days for you. I mean, we could go for a land doctrine. Mass assault, probably not what we're wanting here. It's either superior firepower or grand battle plan. I do like just superior firepower, especially since we're small, such a small country. If we were, you know, the Zili clique, for example, maybe we'd want to go for the Grand Assault, but we definitely don't have the population to actually sustain that. So we're not going to get enough points to start a motion for right aid. So, I mean, does it... Market liberalism goes down. Yeah, we're refusing aid. Well... We bought out them. We now have basically no money. But we can... We can ask a German loan. What are you? You are more because we're good factories. Basically, we're kind of poor uh, at the moment, which is... Understandable, so let's improve some land infrastructure. Get the Japanese loan, and then we can start focusing on doing other things. Uh, so apparently we don't have any factory trade with you anymore. Are you still building stuff? No. 75% factories for consumer goods. Pretty bad, I will admit. Mongol aristocrats take Mongolia. So that is paternal autocrat. No, authoritarian democratic, I should say. So unfortunately... You've been overthrown. Not that that, again, really matters, I think. I think Poland left a king, like, who actually cares about that. So you're getting German rifles. Again, if I'm wanting to support the Japanese, I... The Baodao Rebellion. Yeah, so that's the Siamese Civil War. Who care? Again, who really cares about it? Yes, yeah, so we failed to do this motion. But that's fine. If it makes the Americans a little bit weaker, then I think that's okay. Right now, Japanese influence is at 21%. Chinese influence at 8%, 8%. British. I think maybe get a loan from the Germans as well, because their influence is not too, too high. So I'm not worried about them kind of overtaking legislation politics. How much money do you think you can lose? You think we can spend even more money and just be bankrupt? I don't know. I don't know how this actually if the country goes bankrupt. Maybe an event will f happen and people can attack us. I'm not too sure. Because I know you can attack us, right? If Germany is no longer a member of the Legislation Council, Germany could go to war with us. But hopefully by that point we'd be under the sphere of Japan anyways. So not too worried. So Americas are going to for uh, MacArthur's plan. Not a huge surprise. We will see what's going to happen with America. Because we still don't know how many uh, members are going to be in the Civil War. You know, if Reed or Long get elected, it's an immediate uh, four-way. But other than that, you know, it could be slightly smaller. 68 divisions, 4 to 6. We don't know what Tibet is doing at the moment. Is there anybody else who can attack us? Like, can you do anything to try to secure territory? I mean, this doesn't actually look like it. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if some of these guys just have reclaimed legislation cities.
Rebuild the Zuli Coalition. Eh, you know what? Everything seems fine. Just don't worry about the money. We should... Because apparently improving if, uh, land infrastructure doesn't actually have a cost to it at all, which is nice. Adding two infrastructure in the one city that we actually care about. It's still 1936. We could go for support division. We could go for... Probably actually do want motorized. You, you generally want that at some point. British concern over Shanghai centrism. A uh, consortium of British businessmen have submitted a formal statement today in response to a planned uh, tram construction in Shanghai, asking the investment in Shanghai and Hong Kong be equalized. Uh, while it's obviously too bold of a display, uh, too bold of a demand they probably intend, if engaged in discussion to dial that. I mean, I don't want to give the British anything. It is like that if we do not agree to help here, uh, then we will reach out to the British Crown. And which may attempt to take an active role in the politics of the cities. However, if we give them what they want, it is anticipated that we will hear little... Um... Ignore their demands, they can't do anything. What are you going to do? Get, get Canada to invade me? Potentially, I don't care what the British have to say. That's all I am going to do. We got 33 days until our investigation completes. And we're going to immediately go for the Japanese loan. Because you need... Like, we definitely want the Greater Shanghai. The City of Pearls... I mean, what does this give us? So, currency reserves will rise, but we have that in here as well. So we got one dockyard. A two naval base doesn't really matter too much. So we're looking at one military base, two civilian factories, one naval dockyard. Getting rid of British influence. Some stability. More stability, infrastructure construction speed goes a little bit down. But you give us way more infrastructure. More civilian factories. Still only one military factory? Maybe maybe the string of pearls is better. But your factory uploads plus 15% is pretty good as well. So what do we need for this? We only require this one here. We kind of we can go like down like this. Either way, we're going to get it for the loan from uh, Japan first. We do need that money. Ignoring French crime. It doesn't really matter which one we do there. Consumer factory goods go down. Output goes a little bit up. Belgium's declared independence, but again, that doesn't actually ever matter. Because I've never seen Germany actually declare war on them. The British are outraged, and the Hong Kong press has once again been moaned the unfairness of the arrangements foisted upon them at the revolution at home. Unrest in Hong Kong, less British influence, that's fine. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm not worried about Canada. I'm definitely not worried about Australia. Who cares about Australia? No offense if you live there, but... I think we probably do want to maybe... Can we do go for a string of pearls? It's just going to be like a lot harder to defend, unfortunately. And the research slot comes a little bit later as well. Anyway, British activity in Hong Kong. Following the defeat in the recent debate over funding in Hong Kong, British businessmen have reached out to nations of the former British Empire. It seems that the King Emperor legally agreed to help them. So stability's gone down. The British are going to get a little bit of influence. That's fine. It, it's fine. Look, they're losing influence and they're gaining influence, so it's really only like 0.4 increase. So who cares? Americans speak for the Hong Kong investment. Major American businessmen uh, have been in touch with the city council today, expressing what they feel is legitimate concerns over the opening of cities. I definitely can't afford it. 
they're all gonna try, but America... Stay, stay out of this. Your country's gonna explode in three months anyway, so I don't care what you have to say to me. Russia's declaring more wars. I don't know how we're supposed to get a loan from the Russians if uh, they're in a major conflict, but okay. Got 10 more days till you. 36 days until we vote for a new budget. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit of extra money. The Canadians and the Americans might not be too happy with us, but I will bend over backwards for the Japanese right now. So it's still October. I still don't want to spend my points quite yet. I will spend it on the research upgrade, though. I actually still have another bonus here, so you know what? Should I spend it on the radio? 40 days. Completely okay time to spend uh, on that. British appoint new governor of Hong Kong. More British influence is growing. So I'm, is that on there twice then? Or to just reset the timer? Oh, just reset the timer. That's fine. So I'm not too worried about British influence. So they're, they're the Hong Kong club. They're about equal right now with the Japanese. And I still can't afford to trade more steel, right? No. Still a little bit poor. I could arrest him. What if I have political power? We need more evidence to convict him. There we go. We're going to arrest Yu Yushang. Your paternal autocrat. Be hard to convict him because he's got a lot of support. We need four pieces of evidence against him. I have no idea how much we actually have. He only got 8% support though, so I'm not too worried about them doing anything too crazy. We'll probably get like some more pop-ups, I'm assuming. And we also got 10 more days until the new budget gets voted upon. Japan, give me everything. The Belgian Cynical Republic. They've gone syndicalist. I have never in a million years seen that happen. Okay. Nej has uh, won the war. Not a huge surprise. But again, I've never seen Belgium actually go uh, towards the French there. That might have very big implications uh, into the future of... Uh, this campaign. Well, not this campaign, really, but what's happening in Europe, at least. Um, renovate the high fort. Don't really care about that. More forts. Um, both of the naval doctor, but I want all of these. Like, I. I it's hard to pass up that 15% factory output. But, you know, let's just go string of pearls. If this helps us go with the, the Japanese uh, faction, then we'll go this way. Because it, it wouldn't require you to need the Japanese support to do this, right? Unless this actually involves Japan influencing you a little bit more. We'll see. I'll give money to every single city except for Hong Kong, because apparently they are... Uh, too, uh, happy with the British. Okay, so we got our steel back. So we can make a little bit of rifles. Yes, okay, so we're voting for... Okay, Jack has been elected president. Four ways of war is going to be coming up. So 1936 budget is going to expire within two months. And legislators and council members have been called together to decide on the focus for a new year. The instability of China threatening to overflow into our borders. Some recommend focusing on military and defense. Others have recommended increasing funds. Another facet of the conflict, taking the refugees and keeping good relations with Beijing. Um, we should just get more money. Ports of volunteer force, industrial aid. Or more manpower. I don't think manpower is an issue. Industrial aid's not bad. Do I need the money right now? We're still at below average, but hopefully it'll resolve itself eventually. 
soon. I think we're going for the industry. We need an industrial aid. Uh, Jack Reed is elected president of the United States. A worrying event. American influence has begun to shrink. Germany demands the removal of the Belgian Cynical Republic. Since Belgian Cynical Republic has left the German sphere of influence, the Germans have raised a motion in the Legislative Council to remove the Belgians and confiscate their concessions. I mean, it does make complete sense that we'd want to kick Belgium out of the council. Um, we can just take their stuff. Put it to a vote. Ridiculous. Makes sense to me. Get out of here, Belgium. It does not actually make any sense that we would, uh, keep them around. They would definitely be causing some kind of, a uh, crises within the cities. I mean, realistically, if this, was a, if this was real life, they'd probably be trying to influence our politics a little bit, I would imagine. You go over there and you hang out with France. Stay out of my business. Um... Still not quite 1937, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer on these. Unless there's actually nothing better to really upgrade. I mean, well, actually, let's get some Valkyrie air tanks. Seems like an okay compromise. So, Belvum, do you actually have a focus tree for going Cyniclist? You do. You've reformed the party, probably. Okay. Operative of Belgium. Do you actually support the French? Potentially. It might be, uh... No, probably, it's probably for a policy, right? Join the Entente, join the Internationale. I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. But I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, do I tell you something down? If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye. <laughs>